Hi everybody, my name is Pete Snodden. Many thanks to the Street Soccer NI team for asking me to do this video. And I'd just like to commend all the team at Street Soccer NI for all the work that they have done to this point and all the amazing work they're going to do on the other side of coronavirus. Um, it's a stellar job you're doing. And uh, I just want to say to every single person involved, well done. Really, really, really good. Thank you very much for um, sending me a few questions to answer. Um, I'll get through them. First up, what work are you involved in at the moment? A lot of my work isn't happening at the moment because of coronavirus, but I'm best known for doing the breakfast show on Cool FM. And thankfully that is still happening. So it brings a little bit of normality into my life in a very abnormal situation. I also host events, Q and A's. Um, I'm a DJ as well, I'm a speaker, and all that stuff for now isn't happening. Um, but I'm putting my time to good use. I'm recording a podcast series at the moment, um, and I'm just awaiting, like you, uh, for some sort of normality to return so I can get back to what I love doing um, and, of course, getting to see my beloved football as well. Best moment in your career, best football memory. Um, you know what? In my career, I've been so fortunate to have some amazing moments, too many to mention. When it comes to football, I'll give you two memories that I hold really dear to my heart. The first one was being at the Euros, uh, being able to follow the Northern Ireland team, being at every game of that European Championship campaign. The Ukraine game was just immense. I mean, I can't put into words just how special it was. Um, I knew so many people at the match. There were so many more Northern Ireland fans in comparison to the Ukrainians. We won the game. It was just it was just incredible. And my second favourite football memory was being at Anfield with my late dad. We were there at a Merseyside Derby. We sat in the cup. Best seats I've ever had at Anfield. Row eight in the cup. Stephen Gerrard scored a hat-trick that day. And what made it even more special was that uh, during the goal celebrations, my dad and I got caught on camera. And the following week on Sky... They were showing Liverpool Arsenal, if my memory is correct. And of course, they had the montage of the goals from the week before. Dad and I were caught on camera. So um, for me personally, um, that's just a, a real special moment that I look back on um, very fondly. Uh, my favourite ever player, Steven Gerrard. Um, he's the same age as me or, or just slightly older than me. I remember him making his debut watching the match on television with my dad. And I'm like, who's this guy? And he's like, I have no idea, son. And then uh, the commentator comes on and talks about his age. And I was just like, my goodness, he's the same age as me. And like he's making his debut for Liverpool. And then he went on to achieve all that he did at the club. Um, he was an amazing captain, a great role model, in my opinion. So uh, Stevie G is my favourite player. Best game I've ever watched. Do you know what? The game I, I look back on most fondly was Northern Ireland 1, England 0. Healy with the winning goal. Um, I remember going onto the radio the next morning, playing a snippet of "We're not Brazil, we're Northern Ireland," and I remember saying words to this effect: um, "You know, in our part of the world, whether you are a football fan, whether you're not, whether you're a Northern Ireland fan, whether you're not, there's one thing we can all agree on, uh, and that is that you know we enjoy beating England." And uh, for me, that was just a great moment and one that will go down uh, in my memory as one of the, the great matches uh, because the England team, if you remember at the time, was just full of. I mean, it was an amazing England team. Everyone from Ashley Cole to David Beckham to Wayne Rooney. I mean, they were all playing um, and Northern Ireland got the win. So that was amazing. If I had to pick a five-a-side team, uh, who would it be? Um, really simple. The players are made up of, of Northern Ireland legends uh, and a couple of Liverpool legends, that's for sure. In goals... The one, the only, Mr. Pat Jennings. I've been very fortunate to meet Pat on numerous occasions and do many events with him over the last lot of years. He was amazing between the sticks. He is a gentleman um, and uh, I've really enjoyed uh, any time I've got to spend with him. So I'd have Jennings in goals. Then in the middle of the park, it would be Stephen Davis and Stephen Gerrard. And then up top, Robbie Fowler and the one and only Mr. George Best. So there you go. Imagine if you could have got them all playing on the one team in their prime. That would have been phenomenal to watch. Absolutely. So there you go. That's my five-a-side team. Uh, listen, I hope you've enjoyed hearing some of my memories. And um, I hope you like my picks from a five-a-side team. Um, thank you very much to the guys at Street Soccer NI again for asking me to do this. And keep up the amazing work. And most importantly, during these times, stay safe and take care of each other.